Okay, YouTube, it is Friday, July 22nd, and uh, we've been away for a while again. I didn't mean to, but uh, a few things have changed. One thing has happened that was not so good. A few good things have happened. But uh, first of all, I want to say thanks for the nice comments I've got uh, for my last racing video. Appreciate that, guys. I was a little nervous about being out there, and everybody that commented had nothing but good stuff to say. And I was, like I said, you when you're out of a car like that for five years, you tend to get butterflies in your stomach. But um, everything worked out good. Car's okay. Still sitting in there in the trailer. And I was planning on making more videos right after that. But uh, some things have happened. Uh, okay, after that event at the racetrack, I really, really started thinking hard actually while I was at the track waiting for my next runs there was a lot of waiting between rounds the next day which I didn't do any videoing of and um, I decided to uh, trade the Ranger off for yeah the this 2016 F-150 it's a 50 V8 six speed and uh, I kind of like it. It's a pre-owned. It only had 800 miles on it when I bought it. And um, I'm going to give you a better look at it later on. I'll just give you a quick look at the interior right here. Angel has yet to go for a ride in it. She's a little spooked of it just yet. But uh, she's going to have to. This will be the truck she goes to the vet whenever needed, which isn't too often. Once a year for her, she never gets sick. She's a healthy girl. But um, I like it and the trailer has new tires new brakes on the back i was going to do videos of all that but uh, something happened less than 24 hours after i bought the truck my mother fell and broke her hip so i've been dealing with that um nothing real tragic it's never a good thing when a 77 year old breaks her hip but nothing tragic because she's already back home she had to stay in a rehab center two weeks after surgery and uh, she is now getting around really well on a walker and is already doing stairs so she's coming along but next year she'll be outside fooling around and um, and so that leads to this bought me a zero turn mower because I got a lot of grass to cut I'm not sure she will ever get around to cutting her own grass again because bouncing around on a riding mower might be a little painful for someone who has had a broken hip. She seems to think she's going to be able to. I'm not so sure, but I know for sure the rest of the year I have got a lot of grass cut. You got my yard, that yard over there, and um, I may tonight I'm going to try to play around in the field that I usually do with the tractor, meaning this one here. So, so that's what all is going on. I just wanted to do an update video. I'm not going to be doing much of anything here. Let's see if this thing will start up. We'll do a start on the newest addition to the family here, I guess. And in case you're wondering, yes, it is used. That's obvious by looking at it. It is a 2005, so it's been around the block a few times. But I got it. But it is an industrial mower. And I mean, commercial, commercial grade is what I meant to say. As you can see, the M60 tank. I think it's kind of cool up there but um, I opted to buy a used commercial over a brand new residential I could have gotten a brand new 54 inch residential for actually a little less than this one but the reason I bought this I looked at the residentials and I'm sure they would do okay I'm sure a lot of people out there have them and are happy with them but um, I got this one for less than half of what it they would cost new so uh, but but it's still I still paid a little more than I could have gotten a brand new 54 inch residential but this is 60 inch so I got more cutting width and this thing will probably is built to go a lot longer than I'll probably be cutting grass for what little grass I had to cut unless I decide to start doing some for money hello girl she is so hot. It is very miserable. But anyway, I'm blabbing about grass cutting here. But um, 
I'm getting ready to jump on this thing and play around in the field because I have never driven a zero turn mower until I loaded this today. The old guy I bought it from was really, really nice old guy. He was like 81 years old. He's got, he probably had like 30 or 40 different types of uh, riding mowers in his yard and in his shop. That's what he does. He buys them and sells them. I'm sure he made some money off of me, but that doesn't bother me because that's what he does. But uh, I feel like I got this for a fair price. There's no way I would have paid the 8000 for a brand new one. So I think I did okay. It's only supposed to have 892 hours on it. I don't know if that's been reset or not. Uh, if it was, I'm sure the old guy who sold it to me does not know about it because I don't think he'd uh, steer you wrong. He was a really nice old guy. But anyway, thanks for watching, and that is why I've been away for a while. So we have new truck. The Ranger's gone. I kind of miss it, but I really do like this truck. And I did buy it so that I can do some part-time racing. Of course, my mother's broken hip was a setback, but uh, we're getting through it, and things are getting back to normal. And now that we got this... If it does well for me, which I think it will, then all that extra grass cutting I have may not be a big deal. So, um, thanks for watching and stay tuned. Hopefully, we'll get to doing some more interesting things here soon.